Okay, now unlocking your Samsung Galaxy should be seamless, isn't it? And yet, fingerprint recognition remains one of the most common pain points for users out there. Most people struggle to get a consistent read on the first attempt. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix this issue. If you're new on the channel, be sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community. More than 70% of you guys who watch my contents every day have not subscribed to the channel yet. If you want to stay updated with everything that's happening with your device, then go ahead, subscribe, and don't forget to hit this like button if you find this video informative. Now let's dive right into the video. Now let me tell you the first biggest issue with the fingerprint recognition on your device. That is the screen protector that you're using. Now on this S24 Ultra, I'm using a thin film. This film was applied in a local store and I've been using this film for the last uh, one and a half years. And the fingerprint recognition is much better compared to the Galaxy S25 Ultra that I have here. This has got a, a tempered glass which always fails to recognize the fingerprint in the first or second attempt. So as long as you're careful with your device and you're okay with using a thin film, then I would suggest you to go ahead with a thin film. But if you're someone who keeps dropping your phone, then maybe you want better protection, then you will have to go with the tempered glass. There is no other option for you. But if you take care of your phone well, then go with a thin film. The fingerprint recognition is much, much better. And if you're going for a tempered glass, go with a branded one, maybe from Samsung itself or brands like Spigen, Banks or any other brands, which are premium and they work better when it comes to fingerprints. So that is the first point to note here. Now let's say you have already applied a tempered glass and you are having hard time unlocking your phone. Then the first thing that you need to do is go to the settings, tap on display, under display, scroll down, you will find this toggle touch sensitivity. Just enable this touch sensitivity. This will increase the touch sensitivity of the screen for use with screen protectors. So this feature is specifically designed or specifically made available who use the screen protectors, maybe a tempered glass or even a thin film. So make sure you enable touch sensitivity on your Galaxy phones or any other Android phone that you're using. Next, make sure you register the same finger multiple times. Let's say you are using the right thumb for unlocking your device, then make sure to register it at least twice on your device under the same fingerprint profile. For that, all you need to do is just come to fingerprints, add a finger, you will be able to add the same finger again and again up to five times. That will create the recognition in multiple angles of your finger and it will recognize your finger better when you have added the same finger multiple times. So go ahead, register your finger at least twice on your Galaxy phone. Next, you make sure you register at least two fingers so that if one finger misses, you can quickly use the other finger on your Galaxy phone. For example, if you're using the right thumb for unlocking your device and you have already set it up twice, then add the other thumb twice. So now you have added both the thumbs twice. Each thumb has got better recognition and if one thumb misses, then you can use the other thumb to unlock your device. The next step is going to be a little weird, but believe me guys, this step is going to make the fingerprint work in a better way. If the phone fails to recognize your finger, just rub your finger on your skin or maybe on your forehead. That will create some moisture on your thumb. That will help this ultrasonic sensors to recognize your fingerprints quickly. I know it may not be that hygienic, but just try it out. It is going to work for sure. And also make sure you keep your thumb clean while you use your fingerprints on the phone. The last step is along with your fingerprint, make sure you add your face recognition as well. For that, all you need to do is just go to the settings, tap on lock screen and AOD, screen lock and biometrics. And here along with the fingerprint, you have got the face recognition option as well. You can tap on face recognition and register your face. This is a convenient way to unlock your phone and verify yourself in applications. And your face data is secured by Knox. So the security is pretty good here. The Knox is securing it. So you don't have to be worried about this. Use face recognition feature along with your fingerprint. Much before you use your fingerprint, the phone will be able to recognize your face and unlock the device. Now, as you can see, it is recognizing face right here and it is unlocking. You can see this lock and unlock uh, icon there. I can just swipe up to go to the home screen. And inside face recognition, we also have some additional options which are very useful. We have enabled the face unlock. Uh, we have got a toggle for stay on lock screen until swipe. So if this is enabled, when you unlock with the face recognition, you will stay on the lock screen until you swipe up like how we just saw now, I'll unlock the phone. As you can see, the phone is unlocked, but here it's still on the lock screen, I'll have to swipe up. Now instead, we can also set another method here. If I disable this option, whenever I unlock the phone, it'll straight away go to the home screen. Let me show you this. There it is. You see, it recognizes my face and it instantly unlocks 
you will not go to the lock screen but just in case if you want to see your lock screen the notifications uh, the time and all that then uh, this may not be useful because it will straight away take, uh, take you to the home screen instead of you glancing at the lock screen you'll be glancing at the home screen so you can keep this disabled if you don't want that and we have got other two toggles require open eyes for added security only recognize your face when your eyes are open nobody will be able to show your phone to your face and unlock it because it requires open eyes you will have to keep your eyes open to unlock it then we have got brighten screen increase screen brightness temporarily so your face can be recognized in the dark this feature is enabled by default now i would say the face recognition is much better on the iphones but samsung phones also i don't see any issues it definitely works better but sometimes in the dark environment the phone might fail to recognize your face but of course we do have the fingerprint recognition instantly we can unlock the phone unlike iphones if the face recognition fails you'll have to key in the password or pin but hey iphones face recognition hardly fails i have never noticed iphones face recognition failing but your face has to be properly in front of the phone like how we can just unlock uh, when the phone is kept on the table we can't do that on the iphone so that's a bummer there anyways these are some tips which i wanted to share with you guys let me know if you've got any additional tips to make your fingerprint work better drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and these beautiful wallpapers are available on the volvo's application the link is in the description there are some premium and free collections as well go ahead download them you will definitely love it and don't forget to rate our application on play store that will motivate me to keep coming up with some brand new wallpapers and collections for you guys so go ahead read it five star on play store thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye